Howdy folks. Hey, today we're making Pink Lady. Got a bug in my plastic. <laughs> I had dip bug out of my plastic. All right, I got the raw plastic here ready to cook it. Uh, you I guesstimate usually takes about 325, 3 minutes 25 seconds. What I usually do is like 2 2 uh, 30, 240, and then I do 20 or 30 seconds at a time. You can burn it. Yes, I burnt some about two weeks ago. Burn it black <laughs> because I pushed it for one minute. I thought, well, I'll run it for about 35 seconds and I'll cut it off. And I got doing something else and I heard the microwave go beep beep. It was done, right? I opened the door and she was black. Yeah. I went, you dummy. So you can't you can't do that. You get distracted uh, taking baits off the stringer and that type of thing. So, yeah, it does happen. All right? And we're going to shoot them. I make the pink lady and and, uh, and sell them on the site in the tadpole and the stinger, okay, and the willow tails. I have those three molds in, and the, uh, and the fluke also. I have those molds in here. But I added the swim bait mold. And I added the LC Shad, all right? Because this is going to be a port of catch. Oh, to get the cigarette out of the bag right off the bat. And it'll give you something to win. And I'll put a mixture. I'll put, you know, some each one of these baits in the winner's bag, okay? So let me cook this plastic. Let's get them shot. I'll show you how I mix it up. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. I think I got it hot enough finally. So what I'm doing, I went to the dead end with pink. I switched pinks. I was using another company, and I'm not going to badmouth them, but uh, I might have to go to two with this company. All right. The other company, I was using one drop, but I'll tell you what, the other pink was uh, caking up on me. I got it out. Yeah, see, I got pink all over my hands. <laughs> I got it out a while ago. Whoa. And... too much white That's right. and uh, the problem I had with it is it caked up on me and it was just like mud and I took I even took this right, I used this one yeah it's still pink on the end and try to stir it around stir it up and it's just like mud so uh, I've heard guys talking about that they said they'll cake up when you settle to nothing because I haven't used it for a while now it's blue highlight this is almost, guys, if you want to think about it this way, this is almost a light pink monkey milk, all right? I make monkey milk the same way, except for I use, uh, I use a drop of uh, black, all right? I mean, excuse me, I said black. I use two or three drops of white and blue highlight, that's it. This, I got one drop of pink in it, but I added, and my recipe called for one drop, I added a second drop because it didn't look pink enough. Like I said, I switch companies with pink. Uh, I'm buying all dead on stuff here now. I'm switching over. And it's neon pink. What I had was fluorescent pink. So I do like the fluorescent colors. I use them in the oceans of fluorescent. And the ocean's doing the same thing. It's caking up on me. And uh, so is Azure. So what I done last time with those is I put some in here. And I took my fingers and I smashed it up really good. And then I put it in the plastic. Well... Because they, they call for like 10 or 12 drops. This only calls for one drop. So it's kind of hard to do that, right? So since we, that's, that's, why, that's why I just switched to another plastic. All right. Now, I don't even know now. I lost half of it to the fan. I got a fan on my left over here blowing. All right. I'm adding silver and blue. Okay. This is pink. Pink. Silver, blue, pink. And green. I know somebody's going like green. Yeah, man. Green. I, this color works really good. Uh, I've used it in videos quite a few times. It's not something I pull out all the time. Again, I've got 47 colors and 200, and I think it's 290 items. And I mean items like if I've got, uh, I got 19 colors in LC Shad right now. So that's 19 items, guys. Oh, yeah. Now, I can see that little blue tint to it, all right? Let's see what we got here. It's 297. It's got to go back to 330. 
All right, guys, I got her back to like 3.35. We're going to go. Okay. Elsie's. Oh. Guess what I forgot to do. <laughs> that thing will come out good. I'll, I'll have to come back and reshoot that one. <laughs> I've got to shut the mold. Dummy. That's all right. That sucked down. I don't have nothing. There. I'll have to come back and shoot the LC Shad, guys. So y'all have some of them to play with. I don't think I'll get enough in there. I'll put some in there anyway. I can, I can remelt it. I can remelt it. Some of them might have came out. Look, it took a whole cup right there, guys. I, I've been shooting uh, Pink Lady today. That's what I've been making. Uh, it's Pink Lady. So I got low on them in the uh, stinger. So I went on and made some up today in a willow tail too. That's why I was low on those two. So I made up a few bags. Let these cool off. And we're going to open them. Alright guys, I know I flashed this one. I'm going to open it first see how bad I've done. Because I didn't, uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> see it squirting out of the side right there? Oh, get her can. That's what you, that's what you call flashing it, see? <laughs> Yeah, the last couple done okay, but that top flashed. We'll remelt that. There you go. See, so it's got a pink tint to it, and the, I put that drop of white in it, it gives it a little bit of body. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. Like I said, I don't take much movement here to be able to be able to line with y'all. Alright? That's why I call it the pink lady. And you see the pink flake in it and the blue flake in there it looks nice, doesn't it? It's really a nice color guys uh, it's it's a clear water color now it's not um, it's not like this pink all right that's flamingo yeah see I make it a real solid pink donut that's more for stained water and stuff dark water this is a this is more of a bait color for clear water to real light stained water all right that's in the full-size tadpole Looks different in different body shapes too, doesn't it? Now, guys, y'all hear me say this a lot. Uh, maybe I don't say it enough. Uh, from batch to batch. The other day somebody ordered, I was down to six or eight bags, and one batch was a different batch, okay? And somebody ordered two bags, so they got a bag from each batch. And one of the bags was a touch different than another one. So I put them a note on it. This is from two batches because each time I make these, you see how easy they could be off? The glitter can change them. The, the porter catch that I loaded the other day, when I started with this powder, okay, and I made and I made four different colors with it. That shows you how much just the glitter can change the bait, right? So, how much glitter you put in? When you put drops off of this, some people say, "Oh, every drop's the same." <laughs> well, when you drop it in from that, if you get just a touch more. It's going to change it a little bit. Not a lot, but it's going to change it a little bit. All right? So, if you get if you get a pack and you go like, man, that one one pack's a little lighter, a little darker. Yeah, I know. I tried my best. I used a recipe. I had it wrote in the book, and I got that out and went through the recipe before I started. Flukes. Okay? Some of y'all cook, I'm sure. Uh, I made vegetable soup during the hurricane. I was going to be home anyway. For a couple days, I made vegetable soup, and it was good, too. Huh. Guess what? The Tweety Bird done nothing. That's probably because that's when I was running out of uh, plastic. That's all right. We'll shoot it again, too. Okay, we're going to shoot Tweety Bird again. Didn't think that one felt right, but I'm going to turn the other ones upside down. Okay? So we got two we'll shoot again. All right, here's the wheel of tail. Okay? I had to touch back the camera, guys. That little camera, the little TV goes off in the back of the lens, the uh, darkens, and I can't see nothing. I don't know what y'all are seeing. I got to look at the back of the camera to see what y'all are seeing. Because half time, I don't have it in view. I'm like this. I'm talking about debating this down here. I know y'all fuss at me sometimes. I'm going, Dennis, get it up where I can see it. <laughs> All right. I made it in a little swim bait. Yep. 
And I've done that just so we'd have something different to fish with and something different for y'all to win. I've been trying to make these porter catches, guys, out of something different this time. Okay? That's what I've been trying to do. So y'all can get something different. All right? Now, I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to get to Tadpole Jr. in this round. We're going to do another round. Let's put the Tadpole Jr. in the next round. What do you think of that? Tadpole Jr. And we got to shoot the Tweety Bird. And the LC Shad didn't come out, right? So we're going to put this one in. Let's see here. All right. Let me get this set back up. I'm going to remelt that right there. That batch. And uh, we're going to go again. All right, guys. Getting set up to make another color. Now we need to... While all this was setting up. We need the, we need the uh, LC Shad. Bam. Done better that time, didn't it? Works great when you got the, <laughs> when you got the uh, brake shut, doesn't it? You get the air, air vice shut, it works fine, doesn't it? Aren't they pretty? They're just pretty, guys. All right. And what else was it? They didn't go? Tweety Bird. I went on and shot them all again. But we don't need to open them all up again. And, uh... I just ran out of plastic at time, and I didn't think it felt right. Sometimes when you shoot, uh, you can you can feel it going out of the out of the uh, injector. That's Tweety Bird. All right, all right, guys. There you go. You know, on the porter catch, uh, you leave a number between one and four hundred. The person closest to that number, without going over the number, wins. I do the drawing on Wednesday night. One number per subscriber. Okay. Two numbers per household. Both of, both of you must. If there's two numbers coming down, you must put your own name, your own number down, guys. You can't uh, you can't coattail on somebody else. You got to have your own name, your own number. All right. And I'll notify Thursday night who won, and then uh, come back and watch the video on Thursday and see who won. If you leave a number. All right. That way, you you if you happen don't get my email or my reply saying you won, you'll know on Thursday morning. All right. Appreciate y'all, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video after us. We're going to try to catch some fish on these baits now. We're going to see if old pink lady catch fish. See y'all guys next time. Enjoy the video. Bam. Where are you going? I done had one break me off in the motor. Why they like to run under the motor? I reckon they're trying to run under the boat for the shade if I think about it. Aren't they? They're going to see the shade of the boat and they're going to like, Hi, ah, cover. Let's hide there. Something's got me. <laughs> you mad? Oh, come on. I can't imagine poor fish being drugged in like that. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. This is, uh, that's Pink Lady Stinger. I'm throwing the Pink Lady Stinger and the Pink Lady, uh, LC Shad. That's what I've been going back and forth on. That was the Stinger body. All right. Thought I would try both of them today. We're kind of playing with Stink, uh, Pink Lady. I was going to say Stink Lady. <laughs> That'd be a name of a good color, wouldn't it? You got steak bait. All right. Well, come here. <laughs> I was getting ready to move, guys. This decided he wanted it. I thought, well, I'm going to move. Uh, I don't keep fooling with them. If they quit biting, quit paying attention to me, I just go on because they're not some more crappy. I done been to three spots. It's been crappy in all three spots. So I might hit a spot here in a minute that's no fish. But I know... I know enough good sp spots that I just keep moving. So, you know, I gotta get on. Oh, the hook then came back. To, I got it. The hook had came back and double hooked back into him. Look at his tail. That fish would be quarter inch longer if he had some tail. <laughs> Bam. Bam, the pink lady. Now guys, I have the pink lady in the tadpole and in the uh, stinger, full-size stinger only right now, and the willow tail. I made these in LC Shad. I thought, let's make some pink lady in LC Shad. And I made them a touch pinker, if y'all can tell. Uh, pink lady is pink coloring with a uh, shot of white, and it's got... Uh, silver blue green pink glitter and it's got a little blue highlight to it so it's kind of like a pink monkey milk monkey milk has that blue tint to it y'all can see the blue on the outside of it 
But this has a, and it's white basically. This is a pink tint. It's the only difference. It's a pink monkey milk. Oh boy. He's putting it on me out there, isn't he? <laughs> Come on. That water cools down. The water is 60 degrees. When the water cools down, guys, they fight hard. I noticed that since summertime. All right, old pink lady. Now, I'm, I'm going to add a few things. And I'm not going to charge all penny for this, okay? Nothing extra. I'm going to make this an LC Shad down the road. Uh, probably in January. Somebody just asked me this on line the other day. They make colors. And I said, yeah, I'm going to add some new colors. I said on Wednesday night video. Uh, well, actually, I'll see it on Thursday. That's a nice fish. It gives you an idea of that pink lady color. Like I said, I made a little, just a touch whiter and a touch pinker, and I've been making it. Bam. Found another one, guys. I moved. Oh, not far. Five miles. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent fish. I catch a couple and they quit on me. I just move. I don't sit there and torment them. It's, to me, it's easier and faster just to move to another school. I caught a bass. I don't know if y'all gonna see it or not. A nice bass. Tell me while I get him in. I've caught three bass today on this pink lady color. I don't think it's gonna be a smaller one. I said I caught another bass. Y'all probably not gonna see. Four bass today. This lake is full of those spotted bass, guys. And I'm gonna tell you, they tell us to keep them, eat them, don't throw them back. They're not supposed to be in this lake. The game commission didn't put them in here. Guys, I had a bite, I set the hook, messed one, and I seen a fish move off the top of the tree, go up in the air. I hesitated a second, he grabbed it. A lot of times, uh, when you mess a fish like it, and you go like he come back, he didn't come back. Oop, bass after him. Bass was after him, did y'all see that? I if you got to see it or not, bass was smacking at him. Um, it wasn't a very big bass. He couldn't eat him. He wouldn't maybe 12 inches. I don't know why they do that sometimes. All right, guys, my camera died. That's a decent little fish, about 10 inches. All right, that's on the Pink Lady LC Shad. All right, I just checked that battery a little bit ago and it said 30%, but uh, yesterday morning it was 31, 32 degrees when I left my house, guys. And I'll tell you what, I had trouble with batteries. They wouldn't last no time because it was so cold. <laughs> I had to keep charging them to keep them going. Damn. Yeah, because he got some shoulders. Good gosh, he's a fighter. I can see him down in there. The water's pretty clear, guys. It's about, it's about three foot visibility. He's not that big. I went on netting because actually he was a horse. He's a good thick one. Oh yeah, he's a nice thick one, isn't he? So two pound test, and I told y'all what this rod was last time I read it off to you. It's made for two to eight pound tests. It's a moderate action, but it's a light action rod. All right. um, that's a nice fish. Jesse sent me these lid heads, and they were this was a bare lid when I painted it blue, Jesse. But it has the nasty hook on it. It's a 148th. A nice jig kiss. That's all I need because I'm not fishing that deep and I don't want to get down in that treetop. I just want to skim it. And if that light jig, I can take my time and I can work it across the tree slowly. If I had a heavier jig, I'd have to work it faster because it? it wouldn't get down in that tree. I'll show you all the tree. Tree starts at 30 foot, so I'm 30 and it ends about 45. So I'm getting a long cast like that. All right? That's where that two pound line helps me now. That 148 ounce like that, I, you know, I couldn't, six pound test, I wouldn't be able to throw it that far. Now, a lot of y'all guys are, uh, are, you know, are using heavy jigs. Oh, this messed one. That's fine. And if you're vertical jigging, it doesn't matter. You know, you've got heavy line. That's fine. You know, vertical jigging rods, you want heavier line. You wouldn't want two-pound tests, right? Uh, I would think at least, I, I think I got six on mine. But I know some of y'all fishing standing timber and stuff like that. If you're fishing standing timber and stuff like that, you probably want uh, eight, ten, at least, I would think. Bam. And what I've done, guys, they quit on me, so I pulled up and got a little different angle. So hopefully some different fish are seeing it, the same ones ain't seen it all the time. 
I'm gonna tell you what, these are nice thick fish, they're not very hard. It's been fun to catch today. He's nice thick, a belly on him. Shad are everywhere. He's probably right at 10 inches, but he's a nice one. I'll put you back on the same side. Pink Lady LC Shad. Bam. I ran it live for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to show it to y'all or not. Just trying to catch the fish, and they wouldn't hit me. I cut the camera off. Next cast, one bites me. Some of, these, some of these fish are camera shy, but sometimes it's just a matter where you put it and the angle it comes. You know, the costs are they like it better. Speed, if you drop it right in front of their nose, that's a smaller fella. guys stay on there buddy i'm gonna make this my last one i've got some baits i need to pour this evening i'm out of the killer color and a few things so i'm gonna go work on that see them what time is it? it's 1 30 right at 1 30 that's a nice fish there guys all right that's on the lc shad and the and the pink lady hey folks this was just a fun video fishing with the pink lady I use the Stinger full size and I use the LC Shad. Now I sell it in the Stinger and two inch tadpole. Okay? Don't sell it in the LC Shad right now. But these two baits here work just great. After I got home, I thought, man, I need another port to catch. I never done one with the pink lady, so here I are. <laughs> Look, you leave a number between one and four hundred. Alright? One guest per person, two per household. Both of you must leave it under your own name and you must be subscribers. I do a draw on Wednesday night, a random number. Whoever comes the closest without going over that number wins, okay? I'll ask for your email. During, by email, I ask for you to go ahead and email me. Send me your address, and I'll mail that to you. If you're if you buying baits from me, and you bought within the last six months, I probably can find your address without going all the way back through the archives, okay? So, appreciate you, and I appreciate the good comments, guys. I get comments all the time. I see comments on Wildlife Adventures on Sam's site. People said, do you like the Lake Country baits? You're catching fish with them. Uh, a lot of people commenting to me now. It's all they're using. I appreciate that, guys. I really do. They work for me, as you can see. They work for Sam. They work for you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. Good luck to everybody. If you leave a number on Wednesday night, come Thursday and check it out. There's still two or three people that have never contacted me. I have no way to, no other way to get a hold of you besides saying comment to you on the site saying, hey, you won. That's all I can do. So, if you leave a number, come back and see if you won. On, uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays, I load fun videos. I keep saying I'm going to throw one on Saturday. I have to a couple on Saturday here and there. I got some I need to use up from last year, so I'll, when I get a chance, I will. <laughs> I'll throw one in. Sometimes I forget about it, guys, so sometimes Saturday night I, went, I go, oops, and I'm going to load one Sunday morning anyway, so I let it go. Appreciate y'all. Name is Dennis Fishing Lake Country. See y'all Wednesday night.